Hi, welcome back to Tiger Tech Videos. In this video, we're going to go over some basics of Google Drive, some new features that are there, and just kind of re-familiarize ourselves with how Drive works. So the first thing that you should do is go on Google Chrome, and then up here in the upper right hand corner, you're going to want to go near your profile picture and click on the Google Apps. And within the Google Apps, you should see a Drive button. Click on that. So once you get into Google Drive, let's take a look at the left-hand side and take a look at some of the features that are here. The Priority is a new feature that you may or may not have seen at the top here of Drive. And what Priority does is it's going to show you over here on the top some recent documents you've been working on. Also, you'll see something called Workspaces. I did a separate video on that, and I'll have a link that pops up here that you can check out a video I did specifically on workspaces and how to create those. So for this Google 101 video, I wanna focus more on my drive right here. And I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see it a little closer. Next to my drive on the left-hand side, there's a little arrow. If you click on that arrow, you will see it'll open up a bunch of different folders that you have within my drive. So within my drive, you can see I have four different folders here. And you might notice that they're color coded and I added an emoji after them as a little symbol just to kind of give me a visual for each folder. First, let's take a look at some of the basic things that you need to do here. So you'll see that anytime you click one of these arrows, it will either open or close that file. And underneath that file, you'll find subfolders and you can keep drilling down if you want to open up those additional folders. So one of the basic things that we're gonna look at right now is how to create a folder. How did I create these folders right here? So what you do is you hover over my drive and you right click and it will pop up and give you the option to create a new folder. So I'm gonna do that, create new folder. Just give your folder a name. I'm gonna call mine example folder and hit create. So now you can see it's in alphabetical order, my new folder, example folder. If I click on example folder, you can see that my example folder is empty and it says drop files here. So I can add files to this just by dragging and dropping, or I can add a subfolder. So let's add another subfolder. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hover over example folder and I'm gonna right click and when I right click, again, it gives me the option to pick a new folder. So I'll pick new folder and it's gonna ask you to name that new folder. I'm gonna call this one resources for this example. Okay, so now within my example folder, I have a folder called resources. And within this resources, I can either access the resources file right here, or I could go over here to the left-hand side and I could drill down by clicking this arrow and I'll see the resources folder. Now, right now, we don't have anything in the resources folder. If I double click on it to open it, it will say that there's nothing in there. It's empty. You can drop files there. If I want to create a subfolders within resources, let's say that I want to create a list of helpful websites within resources. I can right click on resources again, as we did previously, and I'm going to click on new folder. As I click on new folder, then let's say I'm going to put websites here. I'm going to create one more subfolder and we're going to call that worksheets. Again, I'm going to right click on resources. I'm going to click new folder and I'm going to call this worksheets. So now I have my example folder and if I again open that folder up, I should see resources in there. And then if I click on resources, I have two subfolders within resources. Okay, so I'm going to go back here to my example folder. If you right click on it, you'll have some options down here. You can rename it. You can change the color. Let's change it to green. Now you can see my example folder is green. And I notice I already have a teaching folder that's green. So maybe I want to change this to a different color. Again, I would go back to change color. It's currently on green. I'm going to pick something different like a purple. Okay, now I have that purple folder right there. Now, if you want to go one step further and add a little emoji there, easy way to do that would be open a new tab at the top and go to Emojipedia, Emojipedia.org. Within Emojipedia, you'll have emojis that you can easily copy and paste into the title of that folder. So let me just click on smileys and people and I'll just click on the grinning face here. And you click on the grinning face and then right here it says copy and paste this emoji. I'm gonna hit copy and it says it's copied if I go back to my other tab at the top, I go back to example folder again, I'm gonna right click it, and I'm gonna go down to rename. So now within the name, 
once it's all highlighted like this, be careful because if you start typing, it just types over top of it. So I'm just going to click behind it and then I'm going to put one space in there and now I'm going to paste and you can paste by right clicking and hitting paste or control V. And now you can see I have my emoji in there. I'm going to hit OK. What I want to show you next is how to move around files that are already in your drive. Maybe they were shared with you or they're somewhere else and how to organize those files. So within my coaching folder, I have a lot of subfolders here, but I also have a lot of files that are not organized yet or put into a folder, which works great for this example. So you're seeing what's called a grid view right now. And a grid view is great for seeing a preview of the file and what's in the file in a little thumbnail. The only problem with that is you can't fit a lot of the files on the page at once. So if you want to change that view, you go right here, and if you click on this icon right here, it will change it to what's called list view. Now I have the same folders that we saw before, but they're just arranged differently in a list. And I can also see all my files that are unorganized and not filed down here. So to change how many files you can get on your screen, here's how you do that. You would go up to settings, click on settings. If you go down here to what's called density, you'll have three options. I have mine currently on compact, but normally the default is comfortable. So yours probably looks like this. So if I go back now, you can see that mine probably looks like yours as far as the spacing goes. So whatever you're comfortable with, no pun intended, you can go over here and you can change the settings. I like mine on compact to try to fit as many files on there as possible. So I'm going to go down to density again and I'm going to click on my options here and change it back to compact. Okay, so the last thing I want to look at is how to move some of the files around and maybe organize them. You can see on the left hand side, I have the new folders we created here. And let's just say that some of these files needed to be put into those folders. So some of these files have not really found a home yet. So let's say I click on this one, alternative fuels lesson, and you don't want to double click it because if you double click that, it's going to open it. We don't need to open it. We're just going to click on it once and you can just click on it and hold it and you can drag it to the file that you want it to be living in. So I'm going to take it over and drag it in websites. And now you can see it disappeared from my list and it's now found within websites. I'm going to place a few more in there. You can click on a file and you can highlight more than one if you need to. So let's say I needed these three files right here all to go in at once. You can go down here to the third file, the, the ending one. You can hold down shift, click it, and it will highlight all three. Now I can drag all three at once and put them into the websites folder. Okay, so now if I go over here and I click on websites, I'll be able to see those four new files that are now organized within that websites folder. Okay, I hope this video on Google 101 was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please contact me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Have a great day.